things are heating up. As you can see, Megan Thee Stallion is wearing her legal options on everybody who was talking crazy. All the people who were blogging, I won't say all the people, a good number of people who were blogging, who she felt did her dirty in the news may be facing some type of repercussions because apparently she's weighing her options on what she's able to do legally. So as you already probably know, uh, Tory Lanez found guilty on several counts. He was convicted of assault with a firearm, possession of a concealed firearm and negligent discharge of a firearm he awaiting his sentence we will be covering that that should be on the 27th of january so just in a few days apparently he's facing over 20 years in prison i don't think it's going to be that high um i can't call it though i wasn't in the courtroom and i was not on the jury listen don't pay attention to too many people um given their opinion if they were not on the jury I try not to give my opinion on these things because like I said, the people who had all the facts were the people who were either A, investigating the case or B, on the jury. Now, of course, if you were sitting in the courtroom, you heard a lot of things, but still, but still you did not see the documentation. A lot of documents that were actually in the deliberation area, those were actually verified and looked over by the jury. People in the stands, they heard things and they saw things but sure they did not see everything and pretty much some of the investigators probably don't see everything either usually an investigation people have a particular part of the investigation and that's what they normally stick to uh yeah so we got a couple of bloggers here um uh, let me let me switch screens real quick they mentioned uh Mal malagro grams um, they mention Jason Lee from uh, Hollywood Unlocked and a few other people. Let me let me switch let me switch screens real quick. So yeah, this is another another article another article. So this is this is definitely something that circulating bloggers are potentially getting notified. I won't say that they're taking legal action, but they're definitely looking into probably how harmful were certain statements or how harmful were you know people's trying to sway public opinion uh, and this is this is all you know in the opinion of legal team of megan the stallion of course um they also have mentioned no jumper here let me go up let me see make sure i got everything right okay so yeah they mentioned no jumper no jumper did have a statement i guess they contacted no jumper and no jumper said that okay no this is this is when they contacted okay so pete which is megan the stallion she publicly uh condemned the commentary from bloggers and social media in september writing it might be funny to y'all on the internet and just another messy topic for you to talk about but this is real life yeah this is my real life i'm real life hurt and traumatized which we saw from the trial bloggers and sites like no jumper hollywood unlock and others have drawn criticism of casting doubt on pete's claims let me see what else we got obviously we know the details of the case she was shot etc etc trial occurred etc etc what else we got okay she's speaking there i'm not gonna read all this okay so they did mention uh this grams um person again a hip-hop news commentator has been covering pete and peterson so that's pete as in megan Thee stallion peterson as in tory lanes since the trial started she okay so grams is a female she has been covering the trial from inside the courtroom and tweeting updates in may grams posted an image of the LAPD report from Megan Thee Stallion's, well, from Tory Lane's arrest, stating that the first doctor to see Pete confirmed a laceration due to stepping on glass. And we, and we know from the trial that clearly this was inaccurate. We know that Megan did have fragmentation of bullets, and I think she still had some fragments inside of her foot, so she was actually shot. The information was recorded. 
uh, before bullet fragments were discovered in Pete's foot. So this is, this could be a clear uh, error, a clear error. Obviously, these uh, LAPD reports were probably generated by people who arrived at the scene. So they got to put their reports in. Investigators come on the back end. And after um, they do their investigation, they find out what the hospital has to say. Then they update the report. So um, I don't think this was intentionally inaccurate. It seems like it was just early report, early report posted, which what news outlets do. So Graham's probably didn't intend to do anything wrong. Uh, the information was recorded. Okay, we said that. Okay, they also mentioned DJ Academics uh, presented Graham's post alongside conspiracy theories that Pete wasn't shot. Wow. So we all know now that that conspiracy theory was inaccurate, at least from the trial. But yeah, a lot of information going around on the news saying that Pete or Megan Thee Stallion is looking into her legal options. For y'all who are new, that's what we're going over right now. So they also spoke with No Jumper. So Adam Grand, Grand Myson, I think I got that right. Uh, the host of No Jumper wrote in an email, in no way are we trying to push an agenda in favor of Megan or Tori. Solid. Uh, Jason Lee, founder of uh, Hollywood Unlock, said that although he personally knows both Pete and Peterson, so he knows Tori and Megan, the goal of the site is to be unbiased. I agree with that, man. I try my best to be unbiased. And when I give my opinion, I always make sure to mention it. So that's a good approach, man. Uh, a lot of news sites, a lot of news outlets in written form and also on TV, they, they don't really take an unbiased approach too much. They usually have an agenda, but I'm glad that he has that approach. Let me see. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it, like I say, depending upon all the details of whatever was put out and then whatever Megan Thee Stallion teams um, feels was was how they were harmed or something they probably have some legal action but for the most part from what i see here without looking at it deep and not knowing exactly what the bloggers put out it seems like a lot of this is just you know putting the information out as quick as possible and going with whatever report they had in front of them and i don't think anything was done maliciously but then again you know, Megan's team, they're going to do what they got to do to do what they got to do to do what they got to do. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one. We will be covering the YSL trial that will be coming up very shortly. That is the Young Thug record label being um, indicted. Yeah, being indicted on RICO charges. So stay tapped in.